here at the Prophetstown State Park Village today to introduce people to what this land looked like when people called this land home 200 years ago and 2,000 years ago. Prophetstown State Park was named for the native people who gathered here under the leadership of Tenskwetawa the Prophet and his brother Tecumseh. village we like to showcase what the structures may have looked like. They may have been dome-shaped homes like wigwams. They may have been A-frame shaped homes like the Anishinaabe people from the north lived in. Things like the cooking hearth and the shade shelter are where people cooked food and processed nuts, twined cordage and made arrowheads. A structure like the corn crib which was a really important building for storing corn and other foods that could have lasted them throughout the year. Another structure here at the Prophetstown village might have been a chief's cabin or a cabin in which leaders might have lived in. And the council house, sometimes called a long house, was a place where people gathered in the village for celebration and ceremony, but also for council. Meetings happened in this building, things to talk about, about why Prophetstown was even happening, the struggles between the tribes and the struggles between the tribes and European settlers and the early U.S. military. Tenskwetawa and Tecumseh gathered upwards of 2,000 people from 14 tribes to stand their ground and push back against European encroachment and early U.S. military. On the morning of November 7, 1811, Tenskwetawa and the people of Prophetstown engaged William Henry Harrison at the Battle of Tippecanoe. Tenskwetawa and his forces abandoned Prophetstown, which Harrison then burned down. The resistance movement was weakened and did not recover from this loss. This battle was part of the beginning of the War of 1812. The village is a place to learn about Prophetstown and learn about the history of this land.